Hey guys, um, I'm not feeling my best today, so I do apologize. It's not mental, it's physical. <laughs> I complain to you guys about how I'm not feeling good mentally all the time. This is just a physical not feeling well. Um, so I just wanted to apologize if I've seen low energy or anything. That's why. Um, I just wanted to play in some makeup, try to make myself feel better because that always helps me. Um, so that's what we're going to do. I'm thinking this will probably be my last Christmas video. So I got all decked out for it. My little earrings. They have Christmas trees on them. And my buffalo plaid. Um, <laughs> I, I'm not feeling it, but I'm trying. Okay, I'm trying. Um, I mentioned this in a previous video. This um, Natasha Denona Mini Gold. I have used this. It's not new. <laughs> but um, it is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Here are swatches of the palette. I'll hold that up so you can see <laughs> swatches of it so beautiful I love it I love the greens the greens the greens <laughs> they're my favorite um yeah just absolutely love them and so happy that I have it all right so I think I'm gonna take this shade here which is a cream to powder formula and it is called Lodge. And I'm going to take my Allie Dawson and Bling Brushes. Um, this is the E31. And so, is that the cream of powder? That's awful powdery. The cream of powder. Okay, and then... I'm going to blend that in the crease. Then I'm going to take this green shade right here, the matte green, um, which I believe is called Bia, B-I-A. I I get so confused looking at the back of those. <laughs> I'm putting this one in the cre outer crease. See how I'm just kind of building the crease a little bit? Um, so I started in this outer corner. I brought it in a little bit here, and then I blended through just a little bit more. That I'm just trying to explain what I'm doing so you guys don't feel like I'm just leaving you out to dry. This earring keeps wanting to turn around. I have it in. Maybe I should have put it in the other ear. It is what it is. Okay, and then I'm going into this green shade, um, which is called Anthea, I think. I looked it up to make sure I was telling you the correct shade names. <laughs> I was so far. So I'm taking this. Do you see that? How pretty that is? I've used this before, but it still blows me away each time. <laughs> then I'm going to go back with that matte green and I'm just going to kind of blend these edges just a little. I always have a little fallout with my Natasha Denona shades. That doesn't bother me because I've, all, not always, but for a very good long time now, <laughs> I've done my um, eyes before my face. So it doesn't bother me. Um, and I have a heavy hand, so that could be why. And then on this inner portion of the eye, I don't, I think you say Dior. <laughs> and that's what this gold shade is. That's what it looks like to me. And that's just going on this inner portion here. And then I'm going in with that first shade just around the edges just to blend very, very slightly. I'm actually going to take, I like the size of this brush. It's very much like this other smaller blending, uh, the E33 from Alley set. This is the E22 from Pages set. 
so I'm just gonna kind of blend around the edges. It's so good, guys. If you've not tried an Natasha Denona palette, let me encourage you. <laughs> I'm a broken record, but let me encourage you. These five pan, five pan palettes, I didn't want to try for the longest time because I was like, why am I going to spend $25 on five when I could just go and get a $65 palette and get 15 shades? And, and that's true. If you want to spend the 65 you can absolutely do that. Um, but if you just want to kind of dip your toe in and see if you like it, if it's something for you, which I think you'll fall in love. Um, but a $25 five pan palette is not a bad way to go. Um, yes, it's expensive. I will not sit here and tell you that it's not. I'm not going to lie to you and act like, oh, this is nothing. This is pocket change. No, I, I, I understand it's expensive. Um, but the quality is unmatched. I don't ever think that I'll work my way through a five pan palette, to be quite honest with you. I don't know that I, of course, I have a lot of makeup. I'm not trying. <laughs> of course, you know, I have a lot to work myself through. Um, but there's a good amount of product in these and I just, I love it. And this quite possibly, I have a lot of favorites, okay? I have a lot, a lot of favorites, but this quite possibly could be my favorite five pan palette <laughs> from Natasha. I just, it's, it's great. I love this. I'm in love with, with greens. Um, that gold picks up the green very well. It just like reflects it oh, so beautifully. Um, so yes, I love these. <laughs> <laughs> this is one I would highly recommend if you enjoy greens, but the, she has so many. Um, and make sure it's the $25 ones because you can get a $48 five pan palette, but you get the bigger pan sizes. And if you want to spend that, great. Um, but if you're going up to 48, why not just get the 15 of these size pans? That's my thinking. Anyway, um, I love Natasha. I love Natasha. See, I wasn't feeling well and a little bit of makeup help me feel a little bit better. <laughs> I've had these for a little bit and I forgot to mention them. So I don't know if they're still available. Um, Mary Kay comes out with some things and then they get rid of them really quickly. Um, but these I think were holiday releases. I know that they were the winter, but I don't know how long they were around or if they sold out. Um, so these are Mary Kay's metallic um, liquid eyeliners. And I've honestly been meaning to tell you about them and I've just forgotten. <laughs> so here's what they look like. Did the dip and draw. You guys know I don't like dip and draw. Um, I did a little swatch right here. Silver and gold. I think that's all they are. Oh, copper and gold. I mean, copper and <laughs> Lord, copper and silver. That's what they are. I thought it was copper and gold and I was going to put the gold on my eyes, but there's no gold. So <laughs> not today, <laughs> but they're cute nonetheless. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use them ever to be quite honest with you. Cause I, I mean, how often do I use stuff like this? Never. Um, so I may give this to my sister when she comes in for Christmas. I need to just like stuck her a little, a little box or something of <laughs> stuff I need to give her. Um, but here it is just a little bit. They're pretty. I just don't use this kind of stuff. So I had intentions of trying it out, but it's just not gonna go with the look I've got going on today. They also came out with this. I'm not gonna use this either, but I'll show it to you. <laughs> um, it's a liquid eyeshadow. And it's really pretty and it actually reminds me of like New Year's. So it's called graphite. And you're probably just seeing like the gray um, but there is like silver and gold reflect in there. Um, let's see, well, this is the applicator. I don't know if you can even see it on there, but there is silver and gold. I'm trying to see if I get a bigger swatch, if you can see better. I hate to waste that much product, <laughs> but it's really pretty. You might be able to. But it just kind of reminds me of the new year, you know, because you kind of mix all those shades together. But it's really pretty. It doesn't go with my eyes, so that's why I'm not going to use it. Um, I don't know that I will use it because 
how many times do I reach for a single of anything, a single liquid shadow, a single anything. <laughs> so that may be one to my sister too. It's been a minute since I've used this, so I think I'm going to. This is my ColourPop Grande Liquid Liner. You know, I used to use this like every time I did a makeup look. <laughs> and it's just been a minute. So let's use it. If you're looking for a good liquid liner and you're just starting out, this is one of the better ones. <laughs> it has a felt tip, and I think a felt tip is really good for a beginner um, because it's more stiff. And I feel like if you have too much flexibility when you're just starting out, you're going to make more mistakes. So, I like this, and they're not that expensive from ColourPop. And they have black. They have all different colors. Um, but they, the dark brown is my favorite. So, um one day I promise to do you a tutorial on these liquid liners. I promise, I promise. Um, today I'm just a little shaky. <laughs> I was afraid that I would mess it up if I tried to teach you guys. <laughs> um, so that's why I'm just, I've been shaky all day. Um, I didn't want to <laughs> teach in that kind of state. Not that I'm that great of a teacher, but you feel me? <laughs> I haven't used this in a little bit, so I'm going to pull it back out too. Um, this is the Milani Chill Out Primer. That's a good one. <laughs> I haven't used this in a little bit either, so let's pull it out. It's the Flawless IRL Skin Perfecting Primer. Foundation, not primer, sorry. From uh, Oma by Sharon C. This is actually a really good foundation. <laughs> I'm gonna drop it. It's a really good foundation. You can find it at Walmart. Um, and I tried it out just kind of on a whim to, to see and test and it was really, really good. So I'm very pleased with it. And if you're looking for a good one that's not very heavy, um, that has a good high medium coverage, this is a good one. It has a unique scent is one thing about it. Um, and it doesn't mean that it's a bad scent. It's just unique. I wish I could figure it out. What it smells like to me. Did I use this recently? I can't remember. Um, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer. It's a little dark. I need it to be just a tad bit lighter. Um, but I'll mix it. <laughs> I'm going to use a little bit of my Maybelline Fit Me concealer and mix in with it just to brighten a little bit. Not that I need extra coverage. <laughs> I haven't used my Jaclyn Cream Bronzer in a little bit, so I'm going to use it. Also going to use the Jaclyn Cream Blush in Overruled. It's been a while for me. I'm going to use my Jason Wu Setting Powder. Okay, and then I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs Bronzer that you can't get anymore. <laughs> I'm so sad. This is the Tantric Shade. I'm gonna try the fan brush for nose contour. Let's see. My nose has never been more chiseled. I'm just kidding. I'm not leaving it like that. I don't know why I put so much contour on my nose anyway. It's not like I'm that unhappy with it. I'm really not, so. It is what it is. It's on my face, you know? So I'm going to use my, I'm going to make it a Jaclyn night. I'm going to use my Jaclyn um, bronzer and blush duo. And this one is Lilac Love and Top Tan. So I'm using the Lilac Love um, blush. And it's just a beautiful blush. And I don't use it enough. So today's the day.
and it's a unique shade too that's the thing it's like I don't have a whole lot of these or at least I don't think I do <laughs> we've seen in my blush declutter I have a, or in my blush I need to declutter in my blush um, ranking I had more than I thought and it's a light formula so you can build it to your desired look oh that's really pretty I really like that see how it looks there it don't look like that on my cheeks it looks a little different doesn't it really pretty this is also um, a new highlighter from Mary Kay this is Canary Diamond and that's what it looks like it's really pretty but I think it has some glitter in there I don't know if you can even tell but there is glitter and I don't like glitter in my highlight <laughs> I'm not trying to dog these products I just this these aren't my preferred let's keep a theme going shall we I don't think you guys will be able to tell but I've really made a dent in that like I can see if I look at it from the side, just how much of a dent I've made. That's my favorite highlighter from her. Okay, so I did my eyebrows. I used my Jason Wu eyebrow pencil. I used Milani Weekend Brow. I started on the tail end, which is where I normally start um, because I can start a little heavy handed. <laughs> and um, I realized this was too dark. So I just kind of started from here with this one. And then I went in with my NYX Lift and Snatch and Taupe and did the front. You may not be able to see a difference. I can tell a subtle difference that it starts a little bit um, lighter and goes to darker. And then I used my Gimme Brow. Um, it's about time to retire this particular Gimme Brow because I've had it for quite a while. It's drying up. There's not a whole lot left. It's about time to retire it. I'm going in with this um, matte green. Sorry to say brown. <laughs> Losing it. And then I'm going to take this lightest shade. And I'm going to buff that. I didn't go all the way in with that either. I'm going to go back with my Jacqueline highlighter. And highlight my brow bone. inner corner and then I'm going to put a little bit on this inner part of the lower lash line I'm also going to take my NYX epic wear liner <laughs> that's just the epic ink and I'm going to put that in my waterline I'm only taking it in as far as I took the liner on the lash line. Has anybody tried the black in this formula? Is it creamy? Because this is extra creamy and I love this. It reminds me very much of the formula of my uh, Victoria Beckham. It's not exactly that creamy, but it's very much like it. Um, so if like the black and the brown are the same formula, um, I need those ASAP. I use the Bad Gal Bang. Uh, mascara from Benefit. <laughs> I can't think straight. <laughs> Please excuse. Um, this is a really great mascara and it's like really competing with my roller lash. But Benefit just makes really great mascaras. What can I say? <laughs> I put on Lunar Beauty's um, Aphrodite liquid lip. It's pretty. So I have red and green. <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave that since we're doing like a Christmas video. This is probably your last Christmas look you're gonna get from me um, because Christmas is here. Um, if I have red, if I have lipstick on my teeth, I apologize. Um, but yeah, I like the red. I think it looks looks cute. It looks Christmassy, um, festive, all those good things. It goes with my shirt well. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So, you guys tell me what you think of the liquid lip. The red liquid lip, I should say. Um, 
I know I was kind of all over the place in this. I just wanted to do one more Christmas look before Christmas is here and Christmas is upon us. And um, I can't believe it. I just really cannot believe it's Christmas time. It's crazy. Um, this year has gone by really slow and really fast at the very same time. Uh, the past two years have done that. I, I really like... I don't even remember 2020 and then here we are in the 2021 so it's just really crazy and um, wild it's been a wild ride for everyone I'm sure so um, in a lot of ways I'm glad to see this year end in a lot of ways it's um, a little bittersweet at the same time so I hope that you guys are celebrating with your families enjoying your time with your family um, that you're having a Merry Christmas or had a Merry Christmas. I don't, I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to get this up. I'm, to, I'm going to try before Christmas. So hopefully you'll have a Merry Christmas. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you like the red with the green. I know I, I normally wouldn't wear a lip, a lip like this, but you know, it's Christmas time. So if ever I can pull off a red lip, it's now. <laughs> but I only ever wear a red lip about now. So, um, take advantage of it while I can, right? So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed watching this in action. First and foremost, this is my absolute favorite thing at the moment. <laughs> I have a lot of favorite things at the moment. Um, but yeah, I love that. Um, I know I showed you some of the Mary Kay stuff. I don't know that it's in stock. If it is, I'll link it down below. Um, and if you want to purchase, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, no pressure whatsoever. If you have somebody else who sells it and you want to talk to them um about getting it i highly encourage you to do so um but i am very happy with the look today i think it's really cute very christmasy as always <laughs> not as always but <laughs> what i was going for um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i will probably see you after christmas so i hope you have a merry christmas enjoy your time with your families and i hope you get all that you wished for <laughs> so um merry christmas guys thank you so much for supporting me and um i will see you in the next video bye